You could be videoing yourself and straightening your hair. Ow. Oh, babe, I see you in, in the window. What's up, you guys? Okay, I know you're probably looking at me like, what is going on with this hair? But you know I've been rocking my curls for a while now, and I just wanted to switch it up, but I wanted to make sure that I did it in a healthy way that wasn't damaging my hair. I'm about to put you on to my favorite straightener. It, it's calling me right now, you guys. It is the Dyson Corral, and this video is sponsored by Dyson. So the sound you guys were just hearing was actually my Dyson Corral just told me that it is ready. So the first thing I do when I wanna straighten my hair is definitely give it a great wash, make sure that my scalp is completely clean. Then after that, I give myself a good deep condition. And I know this sounds crazy, but in order to reduce as much heat damage as possible, I actually just let my hair air dry. And throughout the day, I'm over here just brushing it out, which is why it looks like I am and Hathaway in Princess Diaries before she gets her makeover. You know the reference. If I don't have all that time to just spend the day letting my hair air dry, then I will definitely use my Dyson Air Wrap just to do like a rough, quick dry on my hair so that then I can use my straightener. I also already parted it down the middle as good as I can. Guys, I have a major widow's peak that I actually attempted to pluck out so now it's going back, it looks absolutely insane. So I can't really get the perfect middle part. So I'll just sweep that to the right, act like you don't see it. Now I'm going to part my hair in different sections. So I'd like to use these little clips right here. Ray actually gave these to me. He'll be so proud that I'm using them. Um, I also have these clips as well. So I'm gonna try to separate my hair into four pieces. This is two. Star Wars, Princess Leia. Right, so I'm just gonna make some little moños right here to hold up my hair like so. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about the Dyson Corral, you guys, is it is cordless. How awesome is that? How many of you guys have ever got caught up in your cord and that's how you end up burning your neck and then you have to walk around for an entire week telling people, no, it is not a hickey on my neck. I just burnt my neck with my straightener. You won't be having that problem here, you guys. Boom. Okay, so pretty much this is how I will begin to straighten my hair. Now let me introduce you to my straightener. First of all, check out how sleek that looks. I got it in the colors purple and black, and it is so fly and so futuristic. You guys know that I love the technology of Dyson and what they do, it's so awesome. It also comes in this amazing bag, you guys. How many of you guys have had to travel and you wrap your straightener in a towel and it smells like it's been burnt and everything just so that you could quickly wrap it up. Yeah, you don't have to do that with the Dyson. It comes in this beautiful pouch. I am going to power it on. Boom. It tells me how much battery it has. It's fully charged, you guys, because I've had it on the dock. And guys, this is also a charging dock. And 90% of the battery charges within 40 minutes on the dock or cable. It's telling me what temperature do I want it on. So there are three settings. You can either do 330, 365, or 410. Not gonna front for years, I have used 410 to straighten my hair because I'm like, oh, it's curly. And that's a check mark that tells me that it is ready to go. That it is at 330, that's how quickly it heats up. Crazy, I know. One of the reasons why I absolutely love the Dyson Corral is because you don't have to use as much heat on your hair to get it straight. It's way more efficient, and I normally was heating my hair, exactly, heating my hair, straightening my hair at 410. That's a lie, it probably was more than 410. I actually can straighten my entire head efficiently and it's silky and smooth at just the 330. So it just alerted me right now that it is ready. And again, you guys, it's cordless. Also, check out the flexing plates that gather your hair for more control. That's literally, you guys, I can take this much hair and straighten it. So here we go. Get all the way up to the root. And I know so many of us, just out of habit, are so used to running over it a million times. Trust me, you guys, it does not take that many times with the Dyson Corral. Ray is gonna be so proud of me. I'm about to come out of quarantine with a whole new skill set. 
And you guys, I feel like it does it so much quicker. Like the fact that I can gather that much hair and straighten it, look, it's shiny, it's silky. Also, I know a lot of us like to grab the ends of this. That's the other cool thing is these never get hot. So you can grab it. I also feel like it's half the time. It heats up quickly. I literally can straighten my whole head in less than 30 minutes, which is amazing because you guys, this is cord free charged for 30 minutes. And the awesome thing is that the dock stays charging. So in between, you just put it right back on the dock and it shows me that it's charging again while I get my next section ready. That's crazy. Look how silky. I, I wish I wish that I had philo vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yes, get into that. So you guys know that I have pretty thick, curly hair. It's actually gotten more wavy over the years. I don't know if that's hormones or just the coloring that I've done to my hair. But um, I love that this is actually great for all hair types. I have recommended it to my girlfriends and they are all obsessed and we all have different types of hair. Okay, so that part is done. I know so many of us um, rely on hair salons to like straighten our hair because it just seems easier and a lot of us have taken that time to just relax and it just felt like a great service that we could get and obviously most of us are home now and I don't know but instead of feeling sad about it, I almost have gotten excited about the fact that like I'm self-sufficient, that I can be my own hair straightener now, you know? Originally when I got my Dyson Corral, I was like, oh yes, you guys know that I love rose gold and that's what I thought was inside and I thought it was just for a look. I actually found out it was manganese copper alloy, which is amazing for thermal conduction and flexibility and strength. <laughs> it looks fly, but it has a purpose. Oh my gosh, that right there, I literally just felt that straightening right there. Felt that in my spirit. Yo, Dyson really be out here having us think that we are professional hairstylists and I love it. Yo, you guys know that I used to say, oh, I can't do my hair. With my Dyson tools, I can make anything happen, okay? I don't know if any of you guys saw the air wrap video. If you haven't, check that out as well. Catch it, girl, catch it. Oh, yeah. I really killed my hair. Like, it just looked amazing. Hello. And just like the air wrap, you guys, which I loved, um, this also has heat intelligence. Literally, it checks 100 times per second to make sure that your hair and the device is not going above the degrees that you set it to. So that always gives me the confidence that like, yo, I'm not burning off my hair. They just make it so easy. Like the technology is so dope. I'm literally like just running my fingers through my hair because it just feels really good. Boom. Really? I was like, boom. See all that wave right there? It's about to disappear. Boom. Guys, I'm super excited to show you how it is that I wrap my hair. Cause yo, this hair is about to last me at least like a week and a half, not gonna lie. How often do you guys wash your hair? I'm just curious. Comment below and let me know how often you wash your hair. I normally wash my hair once a week um, if it's straight. And if it's curly, I do what's called a co-wash um, or like a conditioning wash, which means I'll wet it, I'll massage my scalp, and I'll brush my hair in the shower with conditioner, but I'm not necessarily like shampooing it or stripping it of its natural oils. How I keep it straight without having to put heat on it every single day is by wrapping my hair at night, which my mom taught me how to do. She called it a doobie. So I'm gonna show you guys after I straighten this hair, I'm just going over this one more time. Wait, babe, you just totally walked in my shot. I was filming. Oh, sorry. And for some of you guys that may be wondering, okay, what if I don't wanna keep putting it on the charging dock? Check this out. Okay, so unplug your charging dock and then you can actually just plug directly into it. So you do have the option, if it makes you feel more comfortable to actually just completely plug in, you have that option, people. I do have a question for you guys. I am curious, how many flat irons, how many straighteners have you had? I could easily say that I've had 
way over 20 straighteners from traveling, leaving it in hotel rooms to being like, this just doesn't work. So I've always said that it's super important to invest in amazing tools. This one is $4.99, you guys, and I think it is so worth it. Like, I know that I will be having this for years. When you even think about like how much it costs to go to get your hair done, this is totally worth it. The health of your hair is worth investing in. And I also love you guys, just the look of it. How awesome is that? This one is, again, this is the purple and black, and it actually is exclusive to Dyson.com. But you guys, it's also available in dark nickel and fuchsia. Fancy. If you guys wanna learn more about it, click the link in the description. It'll take you to Dyson.com. All right, now it is time to show you how to wrap this baby up. Even before I take a shower, you guys, I wrap my hair and then I use a shower cap over it. So it's also great for showering. And then again, just to sleep at night. If you're a crazy sleeper and you end up waking up or you sweat in your sleep and it ends up curling up in the bottom, that used to happen to me all the time. Guys, wrap your hair. It'll make your hair last longer. Then you won't have to put as much heat on it over and over again. So the one time you straighten it, this gonna last me a week. Hold please while I get my scarf. This scarf is huge. You do not need a scarf this big, but again, I'm moving and it's the only one I could find really quickly. So you are going to start by parting your hair on the side like so. Then you are going to bring it around your head like this, okay? Then you're gonna grab this section of hair and you're gonna do the same thing. Bring it around, okay? At this point, you wanna start adding bobby pins. Now, I have found that bobby pins leave dents in my hair, so I don't use bobby pins, but for the beginners out there, use bobby pins and in the morning, go over those parts that might have some dents in them, which are Dyson Corral, okay? I use my bristle brush to make my hair stick. I normally have to stand up like this. This looks insane, but stand up like this. Now I'm gonna switch brushes and use this brush. Then I'm going to use my sticky brush to make my hair somewhat stick. Do you guys see that? That is a perfect doobie. And even though it looks like it's about to start falling, I'm gonna make it stick. I'm gonna hold it like this. And then I'm going to put my head down like this to the scarf. I'm gonna grab the top of the scarf. Wow, this is the biggest scarf I've ever used in my entire life. Oh my gosh. You will tie it just like that. And then I usually tie it twice and then I tuck the ends like so. Well, with this scarf, you can't even tell where the beginning and the end is because it's just so big. Now, for some of you guys that might be worried that this will come undone, I also have an extra tip. Hold please. I'm back. I also find it really helpful if you're afraid that you sleep too crazy, you might also want to add a little satin bonnet, bonnet, however you say that, like this. So just in case your doobie comes undone, your hair is still staying safe inside of your little satin bonnet. I know it looks crazy, but it's actually really cute. And if your husband loves you or your boyfriend loves you, or whoever's around that's gonna see you in this, they gonna think you look cute if they love you, if they really, really, really love you. And on that note, that concludes my doobie tutorial. Literally, it'll come down and fall. And voila. And then you can just be like, hello, rise and shine. I woke up like this and it'll look amazing. To find out more about the Dyson Corral, you guys go to Dyson.com. And again, thank you so much, Dyson, for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. I'll see you next week right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.